I'm pretty visual, so whenever patients ask me about the eye uh, and injections, I always start with a model of the eyeball and I explain to them where cataracts are, that a cataract is a lens that forms in the front of the eye because they've all heard that word, they just don't know where it's located. And then I explain that everything orange is the retina and the macula is right in here. So once I give orientation to the eye, I try to um, explain to the patients that an injection is a very quick little um, feeling that they have when the medicine will go in and it's literally less than one second when I put the injection in the eye and it is located right here when we squirt it in. The eye is always prepped with betadine to help prevent infection and we lean the patient back in the chair so their head is supported and they don't have to worry they'd move and we hold the eyelid open uh, and the actual procedure takes a very, very brief amount of time, probably only about 20 seconds to uh, put drops in and numb the eye again and then put the injection in. I always rinse the eye afterwards with saline because it gives the patients a lot more comfort. It is so much easier to tolerate than you would ever expect. It sounds like something impossible to do, and yet it is very doable. And the reason it is um, an injectable medication is because the medications we use are very potent and we don't want them going through the system either as an IV and they're, or as an oral agent. They're not available that way. So the medication is put right inside the eye where we can minimize uh, side effects to the entire body and also treat exactly the area that we need treated. When people are treated with anti-VEGF uh, medications, they are sometimes very concerned that it is potentially a lifelong treatment, but when we can tell them that they can have good vision the rest of their life, if they will have injections, it makes it a lot easier to tolerate. And also they see the results after just one or two injections usually, and they realize that it's very doable, it's not painful, and it's the way to save their eyes. And so patients always come back and they can tell me when it's time to get another injection if they feel that their vision is dropping. And that's a very scary thing to them because we're trying to save people from going blind and with injections we're able to do that. What I'm excited to show today is a few examples of patients that benefit from the injection of an anti-VEGF agent. And the first example I'm going to show is actually a patient with a normal left eye. And then this is that same patient with a central retinal vein occlusion of the right eye. And the center vision is right here and it's very swollen. We have um, a scan of that. This is before injection. The macula is very swollen. The vision is terrible with this type of swelling. And one injection later, this is the result. And so the vision uh, was markedly improved. The patient definitely started noticing improvement within about two weeks and has maintained this excellent type of result ever since we started the injections. The next example that I want to share with you today is a patient that I have been seeing since I first came to eye surgeons in 1999. When I first met this patient, uh, she had wet macular degeneration in her left eye and this large scar and eventually over time also got an additional um, area that was gonna bleed and scar. So this is what her second eye ended up doing six years ago. She got a very severe bleed in the macula. Her vision dropped down to the point where she couldn't even see the big E on the chart and she was legally blind. Very, very scary for this woman and I've known her for 20 years now, so we have grown uh, quite a relationship, and she was depending on me to be able to help her. So what we did was start injecting this eye with anti-VEGF agents, and every five weeks I'm treating her, and this is what her eye looks like today. Um, she is 2025. And so her one eye has been able to remain excellent in the last six years since we've been treating her with this type of injection. Here's another example of a patient that has wet macular degeneration. 
uh, his fellow eye is not good. He's been traveling two and a half hours to see me every four weeks to get a treatment. He came in with this severe wet macular degeneration in his right eye. Here's an example of the OCT scan that we did. And ever since this treatment, uh, he is seeing 20-25 in this eye. And I've been treating him for the last three years with this condition. Uh, it is worth his uh, while to come to our drive to see me because it's his only eye and we certainly are making a huge impact on his life. This is an example of a patient with severe diabetic retinopathy. Uh, this is what the fundus uh, looked like in April of this year. I have been giving anti-VEGF injections to this lady every five weeks for, since April. And this is what her retina now looks like. The hemorrhages are going away, the edema is, has gone significantly, and her vision is markedly better. It is very common for us to see this type of improvement with diabetics. We frequently are treating just for the macular edema uh, that the patient is suffering from uh, when they're swelling right here. It affects their central vision. But the injections we do don't help just this particular area. Overall, the retina is much healthier and much more likely to maintain excellent vision for many, many years. Next, I'm gonna share with you a very interesting and unusual case. I have a patient that's in the low 40s that has diabetes that's pretty well controlled but has super high triglycerides. Normally, we want triglycerides to be under 200 and his are over 10,000. So when he first presented in February of this year, we had severe leakage and swelling and hemorrhage and edema in both eyes and the vision was worse than 2200 in both eyes. So at that point, he was legally blind. We started doing some anti-VEGF treatment. The scan of the left eye macula was very swollen. And after six months of treatment, this is the improvement we made here. But even more um, impressive is changing the appearance of the overall retina from this to that. This is the same patient uh, after six months of having anti-VEGF treatment for the severe leakage related to diabetes, but probably much, much, much worsened because of the triglycerides. So I wish uh, we could do something like this for his overall systemic condition, but um, surprisingly, we're making a huge impact on his retinas with the injectable medications.